you are welcome. In this video, let us understand how to make Tollgate Toll Collection System. So it's an VB.NET project, but still you can do it in C Sharp, Java, Python, or any other language. So first, let us look at what we can do in this project. What are the things we can add? How the whole project works? Then I'll demonstrate the project for you. So Toll Collection basically for the Tollgate. So we know like. Uh, Nowadays, whenever the new roads are created, where the toll collection system will be there, and whenever you pass, you need to pay the toll for it. So the important thing is in the toll collection. So they have a booth over here, right? So whenever the vehicle passes, so they need to collect the money from this. So different vehicle, different price. So that you need to enter in the system. So what we can do in this project is we start with the flash screen, then login form, then MDA form. So where MDA stands for multiple document interface, and you can have a menu strip here. So via menu you can navigate for the rest of the forms. So what are the forms you are having? So by clicking that you can go to that form, and then again you can come back to main menu, and then you can go. So here is the vehicle type. What are the different vehicle type? And the corresponding price, how much price you need to collect from the, and then you can have a card issue. You can issue the card to the customers. Then you can have a card recharge. So we can recharge the card. So after recharge, we need to check the balance. What is the balance available? So check balance. Then who are the employees working? We can enter the employee details. Then also you can enter the booth details. What are the booths you are having? That is the booth details. So based on that, you can generate the reports. So in the reports, you can say card issued, list, then recharge list, then employee list, then collection list. What are the collections done? So that is a collection list. So both after that there is a collection here. So uh, totally it consists around 15 forms. So for a small project I think this will do the job. So you have to make all these uh, forms properly, and C2 you need to write the proper code and uh, should not get any errors, and everything should work properly. Then the aim of the project will be achieved. So therefore you need to do this project and it's working fine. Means it's everything is okay. Let me show you like how this whole project works and how we can now do it in VB.NET. So this is a desktop application. The front end is VB.NET and the back end is SQL Server. And we create all the database and tables in Microsoft SQL Server. Now let us look at the demo. Right. So before getting into that, please subscribe to our channel. So your subscription is very, very important to us. So you can also go for like now our channel, iBlix Tutorials. And then go to videos. So in videos, we provided many project videos, and also we explained like how you can do the VB.NET project from the scratch. Therefore, you can learn how to make the project in VB.NET yourself. So here we have shown like how to make MDA form, child form. So all the basic level code is explained over here. So please watch this one. And here is a login form. How to create the login form? How to enter the data? So all is shown over here. So please watch this also and learn SQL. So therefore SQL is very, very important for any language. So these two videos will help you understand like how to write the SQL statement because for in the interview or in Viva, SQL is so important. So like any query, they'll ask all link to the SQL only because all the project basically talking about like how to send the data to the table and how to retrieve the data from the table that can be done through the SQL. Therefore learn SQL. Uh, SQL is a language and SQL Server is a component. Two are different things, but I'm talking about the language. So here it's everything is explained. Please watch that. Also, many videos are provided over here. So please share these videos with your friends who are needy. Uh, we're doing any computer science course for them. For them is definitely useful. So please suggest them to watch this our channel and uh, please pass that. Or you can share the video or you can give the title like now our channel name to them. So let them search in uh, YouTube and then they can watch that. Okay. So please subscribe to our channel. Uh, then if you have anything to say to us, 
or anything to share with us please send it in a comment and send to us let me know what you are thinking about it fine so now i'll show you the project and here the project is opened in visual studio 2019 so stall collection so project start with like you no know, generally when you add a project forms so you go to project art form now you'll get the name as form 1 form 2 form 3 but what strongly we suggest to you is uh, here you can give the name what exactly you want to do that name you have to give here like you no know, how we are given the name we are supposed to give the same names here and then click add so then the form with the name will be added so next thing is here we have welcome screen uh, we already have a picture here so to add a picture you have to go to toolbox and then you have to collect the picture box and then drag it on screen and then you need to link the picture so first make the picture ready and that picture you have to link it over there so there is a background image so here is a background image you need to link to the background image and then uh, there is a layout here you have to make it center or you want to stretch to the full screen you can make it stretch tile means it will repeat again and again none means there are no pictures okay how uh, as uh, you want you don't want to do anything so whatever it is that you want to display it then there is a border style none so therefore it will go to full screen and there are no border style and the start position we make it as center screen so these are the options we set it in the this form and there we added a timer too so in the timer we written this code uh, to check 5 seconds after that you should take to the login form so here is a login form so in the login form you click the log okay button i should log in then you take to mdf wherein so here is a menu so via menu you can able to navigate with the each form so here is a vehicle type so when i click vehicle type you should go to vehicle type form so here is a vehicle type so this is a vehicle type name details and what is the price for this so when i click the save button you want to save the record so first we'll check whether you enter the text box one data or not then we'll check whether you enter this data is already present in the table or not otherwise then we'll insert the data to the table so then we'll display the data here this is the code and this is to get back the data to the text boxes then this is to modify the data and this is to delete the data so this is very common in almost all the forms uh, in case of report you can see that here is a grid uh, when you click the display button you want to show the report here so what the code we write so this is the code which you need to write to display the records so here is a sql statement select transaction number t date card number pay type db amount from the card transaction table so this is the table name where db amount greater than 0 order by transaction number so therefore it will select all the data from the table so your table is located here in data connections i'll connect and i'll show you so to go to browse bin debug button tall data dot mdf so here if i expand this so you can see that card transaction table okay otherwise i'll show you every table so definition so here is the uh, booth tab okay so that is the design so these are the two columns in this and this is the card detail tab so this is to issue the card this is the card transactions so when you do the transactions we store the data over here this is the card type what type of card it is and this is the employee details who are all the employees there so we want to enter the data into this table so this is the login table there are two columns is the id password and then this is the vehicle type so in the vehicle type uh, three columns are there the three columns type detail and fee amount okay so if you want to view the data so right click and show table data it will show the data we already enter for car lorry bus and corresponding prices here so this is about the table design so when you go to vehicle type so this is the vehicle form type form so when you click the button it should send the data to the this particular table so this is the main concept here fine so let me run this project so this is a welcome screen so it will be there for 5 second then automatically it will go then we can log in form so you can log in so you and when you demonstrate you need to demonstrate the same way to explain them like how exactly it is done so that is what very very important so click new and enter all the data then save 
even you entering the data you need to take care enter the real time data and then card type so this is uh, electronic card otherwise you can say smart tag or um, fast tag okay uh, then new now new card is the fast tag card so this is the new card which is uh, system is implemented now so you need to get the fast tag card so the further accepted in all the toll gates then is a card issue you can issue the card to the customer okay so the for 1001 this electronic card santosh so we given to each, uh, to them so likewise there are three cards are already issued so you want to issue more cards you need to select this and then you have to fill the details here so here is important card chaser before that i'll just go to this so 1001001 uh, check the card right so two zeros Okay, so one zero zero one zero one card balance is zero. Then what we do is we'll recharge the card. So new card number. So this one zero zero one zero zero one. Okay, so this is a recharge amount. So let's recharge for five hundred rupees. So payment type. How do you done this? You made a cash payment. Cash received. Then save this. So that is done now. Uh, okay, one zero is wrong here. Okay, so let's add one more zero here. Then you can modify this. Right. So this five hundred is added. So now we'll check the balance. So this is one zero zero. Okay. So previously with that it becomes thousand four fifty. So let's add again. Card recharge. This is one zero 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 one zero zero one. Okay, so recharge. This is find it again. Then payment type. It's cash. Okay, find it note. So check. Okay, it's increasing. Okay. So next step is um, we go to that total collection. Here is the booth details. So number one booth. So then you can say number two, second booth. Save this. So toll collection. Click new and then select the number. So here is the vehicle type, which uh, payment type is a card. So card number one zero zero and then one zero zero one. So what is the vehicle type? Um, here is a car, twenty five rupees, and that should be deducted. Okay. So from card it has to deduct this. So now if you check balance, so this is one zero zero one zero zero one. So twenty five is deducted from this. So this is working fine. So apart from this, you can enter the employee details over here. And all this uh, after this, we have a reports here. Uh, then we have employee list. You can see the employee list, recharge report. Then you have toll collection report. So recent collections, this is the one is done is collected here. Fine. So these are things which are added here. So therefore, you have to start with the basic entries. So then you have to card issue, card recharge, balance, then toll both details, toll collection, and then reports. So we do this much. I think for a mini project, will definitely well. But if you're looking for jobs and all, so you need to do more. So keep try, and let me know what you're thinking about this. And if you have any doubt, let me know what kind of doubts you are facing. So please write it in the comment box and let me know this. Thank you.